Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Destiny Unfiltered. So this is more so an impromptu podcast because I was listening to a group uh, discussion on Clubhouse, and they were just more so talking about what a value um, a woman adds to a man, you know, um, does she, you know, the, the woman makes the man better, things of that nature. They mention, you know, from a financial perspective, yeah, if she's, you know, she has her own grind, she has her own thing, you know, then that, that makes the man better. And then um, there was someone else that was speaking about the character. And I started thinking, we really, we need to recognize the difference between liabilities and assets. So finances can build you, but character can break you. So I'm going to speak to my kings briefly. So this first message is to my kings. I want you to recognize that a woman can add value to you financially, especially when she's on her grind and she has or she's currently working on building a life separate from the relationship. However, her character the way she handles herself, the way she carries herself, the way she conducts business can dramatically decrease your value if it is not conducive with your vision. So I want you to choose based on her character first, because remember, you can always build an empire financially together, but with poor character, everything you build will fall apart. Now, for my queens, this second part, this is a message to my queens. A king who is financially stable in his wallet, it's awesome, you know, right? Because he can add value to you, but he needs to be stable in his mindset in order for him to lead. Remember, the position of a king is to lead. The position of a queen is to follow. We follow with our minds in order to produce and maintain what is in our wallets, it doesn't work the other way around. So I just wanted to, this is pretty brief. I just wanted to give you that value because I was thinking about it and I just wanted to put it out there to make sure that you guys are focusing on the right things when you're looking for life partners. You know, you're looking to marry someone. This is the person you're spending the time with. Um, that's important because you can have all the money in the world, but if your girl is ratchet, like, how does that help you? How does that help you when you need to step into the business meeting and they already seen her uh, twerking in the parking lot? You know what I'm saying? Or for the, the women, you know what I mean? He has this money, but if he doesn't know what to do with it, he's gambling. His mind isn't in order. He's not thinking about investing. He's not thinking about building wealth. He's spending it on random things like the strip club or he's just, you know, just tricking it off in these different ways. You have to think about that. How are you going to follow his lead? You know what I mean? So I, I had a post before and I remember I said, lead us not into oblivion. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if we focus on the character of individuals before we really invest our time and our, our, our energy into them, I think that the results will be a lot better. All right, so I hope you guys were receptive to my message. I appreciate you listening. Thank you so much for all of your support. And on that note, I'm out.